if you look for the light, you can often find it. But if you look for the dark, that is all you will ever see. This is one of my favorite quotes of all time because it reminds us that we get a choice. We can look on the bright side seeing all the good in the world becoming optimistic and happy, or we can look on the dark side seeing only the bad in the world becoming pessimistic and depressed. This quote completely changed my perspective. I used to and still sometimes do struggle with pessimism, but this quote acts as a shining light in those moments of darkness, guiding me out, reminding me that I get a choice in how I think and what I focus on meaning I get a choice in how I feel. Ask anyone what their goal in life is and I'm sure you'll come across many who just want to be happy or want to do something that they believe will make them happy. This quote made me realize that happiness isn't caused by physical means but by mental means. So often it feels like our emotions control us, but wouldn't it be so freeing to have control over your emotions? As I sit here writing about a quote that I believe to be about pessimism and optimism, I've realized that it's more than just that. It's not just about general positive feelings or negative feelings, but all the emotions in between. Anger, sadness, disappointment, anxiousness, fear, disgust, love, happiness, joy, pride, calmness. It's about your ability to have control over all the emotions, be able to control how you feel and when. It's the classic case of a glass half full or a glass half empty. Choose to be satisfied or choose to be dissatisfied. When someone passes away, you can be optimistic, hopeful, and perhaps even happy that they're moving on to something possibly greater, perhaps more peaceful and quiet, or be pessimistic, hopeless and sad that they may be fading into nothingness. The greatest atrocities could bring the worst out of you. Feelings of hopelessness, sorrow, thinking the world is meaningless and cruel. Or you could find a glimmer of hope, happiness. Understanding that people can be cruel, but knowing that the kindness is twice as strong as cruelness, love infinitely stronger than hatred and pain. Having hope that one day kind acts will be rewarded and cruel acts will be punished belief that our actions matter or at the very least these moments matter because at the end of the day even if it's true that one day we will die along with everyone we've ever affected and everything we've ever done will cease to exist whether we are aware of it or not these moments happened i believe that in itself provides enough value as to why the present moment matters why past moments mattered and why future moments will matter if the world is truly pointless and meaningless then why would you decline an excruciating death Alternatively, why would you accept a vacation to some beautiful place like Hawaii with your friends and family? It's because life does have a point and is meaningful. Because these moments have a point and are meaningful to us and others. Being happy isn't about gaining status or wealth. It's about being able to look on the bright side, becoming strong-willed. Like I said, I still sometimes deal with pessimism and that's okay. The world will sometimes knock you down, but the question is, how will you handle being knocked down? Will you submit and give up or will you smirk and push on? I believe the key to happiness is having the ability to see the bright side, to smile when knocked down and get back up. If you can do this, then everything else will fall into place, as long as you are also honest to who you are, being someone that you can be proud of, someone you would want to be around. I believe that if you do these two things, then eventually you will find happiness.